Today we're gonna talk about tocasterone. What is it, what are the benefits and is it worth it? All these questions will be answered in the next few minutes. Tocasterone supplements are growing in popularity from gym goers and athletes looking to pack on muscle mass and improve body composition. But what is it? Like other steroids, tocasterone is an anabolic steroid derived from insects and numerous plants notably rich in quinoa, spinach and chestnut. Let's start with the good news. In arthropods and non-arthropods, steroids are hormones that stimulate molting aka the change of the entire outer layers of skin in one act and growth by binding to the acesterol receptor. This fact led to the theory that steroids could increase the protein synthesis and by extension muscle growth in humans. In other words, tocasterone shows promise for muscle building, fat loss and athletic performance. It also seems to have a versatile other benefits for a range of health applications, including protecting against stress, reducing insulin resistance, stimulating immune function and supporting liver and heart health. That all sounds great, doesn't it? But now to the bad news. As of early 2022, there's little to no human data on steroid supplements. Only three clinical trials of exosterone are available and tocasterone lacks published clinical research. Just a handful of studies from the mid to late 1900s and early 2000s suggest that exosteroids enhance protein synthesis and reduce body fat in mice. But the exact mechanism behind that remains a mystery. The current hypothesis is that exosterone and its structural analogs, for example tocasterone, activate a receptor universally present in our bodies, known as MAS1. Marine data suggests that the MAS1 receptor is involved in multiple vital body functions, including muscle hypertrophy and energy production. So as you can see, we simply need more quality human studies to fully understand how exosteroids work and what dose is optimal for anabolic effects. Nonetheless, sports supplement brands are jumping on the hype train and formulating muscle building supplements with esosteroids and tocasterone. After all, anything natural that's suggested to produce anabolic steroid-like effects is inherently intriguing to supplement enthusiasts. While the apparent benefits of tocasterone and esosterone are encouraging, there's a concerning lack of regulations and quality in supplements containing these compounds. A recent analysis of supplements containing esosterone found that many samples were upwards of 99.7% underdosed compared to what the label claimed. That may change as research grows and we can more confidently source tocasterone. Until then we recommend approaching esosteroid supplements with a sense of caution and skepticism. One of the reasons why so many people still buy these products, besides the promising benefits, is that they don't interfere with normal endocrine function in humans, which is a huge plus factor. Another question is if exosterone does increase insulin-like growth factor 1. Some studies show that exosterone and ostensibly tocasterone reduces myostin gene expression and increases circulating levels of insulin-like growth factor 1 IGF-1. Myostatine is peptide hormone secreted by the brain that acts as a negative feedback loop for growth hormone production. Therefore, reducing myostatine levels promotes growth hormone production, which subsequently elevates IGF-1 levels. Though growth hormone itself is not an anabolic hormone, IGF-1 is. However, research on the effect of exosterone towards myostatin and IGF-1 is based almost exclusively on isolated muscle cell cultures from several decades ago. Extrapolating such findings to humans may not accurately reflect the effect of such supplementation in humans. Future research will hopefully provide more insight into how exosterone and tocasterone modulate human gene expression and the interplay of these compounds with proper resistance training and sport nutrition. Now to the last question. Is it worth it? In our opinion, it's hard to recommend an exosterone or tocasterone supplement. Not to say we think esosteroid supplementation is all fake because of the evidence as of right now is pretty compelling. But we simply need more quality human studies to fully understand how esosteroids work. 
Luckily, testosterone is a big area of interest in research due to potential as natural alternatives to anabolic androgenic steroids like testosterone. If we get any news, we will inform you immediately, so subscribe our channel to not miss anything. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.